welcome you to this session on the financial risk management concepts building so today we will be discussing about what is an yield curve shift and how it is useful for our risk management purpose we know already that uh, what is an yield curve it is uh, the a plot between the yield and um, the time series or the tenor series so i have drawn a diagram which uh, represents the typical yield curve so you can see that the yield is in y axis and the tenor is in uh, x axis and i have represented as one year two year five years tenors for simplicity purpose and i have uh, plotted one graph that is known as yield curve the question comes is that what is the the yield curve shift is you know you should understand that at no point in time the yield curve remains the same even if you observe on an hourly basis also you will find that the yield curve that you have seen one hour before is not the same yield curve that you will see one hour after as a risk management professionals we think our organization six months down the line or one year down the line so just imagine that the the yield curve that is present today will not be of the same shape one year down the line i am drawing a, another yield curve let's say one year down the line we have something like this so you have y2 is the second yield curve let's say this is one year is our time horizon So in one year down the line, the yield curve is going to look something like our Y2. So there is a difference in the yields. It, this is known as parallel shift. This will be known as parallel shift. Where there is an equal amount of change across the tenure. So, how often you will see that a perfect parallel shift is very rare in real world if, to get a perfect parallel shift. So, the other form of the shift is called the non-parallel shift. I have shown you a case of non-parallel shift where the changes in the yield is not uniform across the tenors, across different tenors. So, First, first year tenor, we have X amount of increase in the yield and the second year of tenor, we have Y amount of increase in the yield and for the fifth year tenor, we have Z amount of increase in the yield. Where we have, let's say X is less than Y is less than Z. If, if this is the scenario, then you have it, this yield curve will be called as stiffening yield curve. There is another case is that when the interest rate the decrease when interest rate decreases correct so at that point in time so you have a long term interest rate is decreasing at a slower pace than the short term interest rate so in such a scenario also it will be called as stiffening in increasing scenario the long term rate has to increase at a much faster rate than the short term rate but in a decreasing scenario, the long term rates has to reduce at a much slower rate than the short term interest rate. So this is called the stiffening of the curve. There is also another case is that the flattening of the curve. When this flattening of the curve happens, when you have the increase in the short term rates, it's much bigger than the increase in the long term rates. or when it decreases, the decrease in the short term rates is much lesser than the decrease in the long term rates. So that case we will call it as the yield curve is flattening or it looks like a flat surface. So we understood that the parallel shift we discussed 
and then we discussed about the non parallel shift and the two categories of non parallel shift is that one is the stiffening the other one is the flattening Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and if you have liked this video, please press the like button and also provide your valuable comments. Your comments will be input for us to give more information that will be relevant for you and we will upload more relevant videos on this channel. So subscribe to the channel, also press the bell icon, you will be notified about the upcoming videos that whenever I will upload a new video you will be able to get a notification. So thank you for watching this video. Thanks for your time.